everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a lovely day. In today's video we are once again at the yard and I'm going to be sharing with you guys everything that's in my tack locker. We're going to do a bit of an organisation and also do a tack clean. If you are new here don't forget to subscribe and of course click the like button if you did enjoy this video. And also I want to take this moment to send out a huge thanks to everybody that's been supporting my YouTube channel this vlogmas and if you've watched all of my previous videos up until this point or even even more than one thank you guys so so much it means the absolute world to me and you know vlogmas i've been working so so hard on creating these videos and getting them up every single day usually i upload two videos a week and sometimes that's like hard enough so uploading 24 in a month has been quite stressful i'm loving it though and i just want to say thank you guys so so much for all of the support and encouragement and just for clicking on my videos and giving them an extra view and also what's everybody thinking of the new microphone i mean it's, this is the closest it's been to my mouth so we'll see see what it's like when I come back to edit but I'm having to do my base layer up today because it is so cold so hopefully it's not too loud and hopefully I'm not having to turn the volume down too much on on the editing software but other than chucking an ear warmer on in a second because it is freezing outside also it's two o'clock and it is so dark and grey outside so we are going to be working with indoor lighting today because that's all we can manage because there is absolutely no natural light outside today and on that note I will see you guys at the yard so I'm now at the yard and this is currently what our tack locker looks like including the drawers and stuff underneath so this part especially could do with a good tidy up and organization um, yesterday I actually washed all of Ringo's saddle pads so I'm yet to go and get them in from like the drying rails and pop those in as well so I'm going to pop you guys on my tripod and we're going to have a bit of an organization I'm going to tack clean and then we can go into the rug room as well and sort that out in my area as well so I mean it's not too like disgusting but it could just do with a bit of a clean a bit of a polish and a little bit of a tidy Okay guys, so I think the easiest thing for me to do is to literally empty it out. <laughs> Start that again. <laughs> it's literally empty it out first. Take everything out. So that's Ringo's normal dressage bridle. I've also got his showing double bridle in here as well, which looks like this. my hat his dressage saddle my grooming kit I've then got some gloves an odd glove as well so I need to find the other one to that and a container from home which I baked his treats in the other day if you haven't seen that video already so that needs to go home with me so I think the best thing for me to first do is to brush this out so to do that I've literally just got one of Ringo's like dandy brushes and I'm going to collect all the dirt and dust in this dust cloth can you see me? kind of Okay, so however clean it looked, that is what has just come out of the bottom of my tap locker. I'm just going to pop that in the bin here and give the cloth a good shake. Good as new, near enough. And then I'm also just going to dust the bottom of it with this as well. We're just going to dust off everything here as well because if you think about it I put like a sweaty saddle back on here sometimes and sweaty numbness and things so it could all just do with a nice clean and a bit of a dust off <laughs> I 
like so. I'm now just going to go and get his saddle pads and pop those in as well. Okay guys, so Ringo's saddle pads are still soaking after their wash, so we're gonna have to deal without those today. So I'm just gonna start off by putting everything back in here really tidily and then go through the bottom drawers and then I'm gonna get everything back out again and give it a good clean if that makes sense. I'm probably doing it in the wrong order, but anyway, that's, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. So. by putting my grooming kit at the back. That's kind of where I like to put it, at the back in there. And I always put my boots in my boot bag on top of that as well. I always just find that kind of looks nice and tidy and just keeps everything nice and tidy. <laughs> and I might actually clean this bridle today as well because it's been cleaned but just sat in the back of here since before moving to Forest Oaks so it could do with like a bit of an oil I think to look after the leather so this goes over on this on the far bridle stand and then his everyday dressage bridle goes on the closest one obviously just for easy access my hat goes up the top on the hat stand up there. I'm also gonna put these two pairs of gloves in my new glove storage, which is the side pocket on my boot bag. So they go nice and neatly in there. I usually put my saddle on this second one down and my saddle pads on the top one. And then I put my girth on top of there. And is that everything for in there? So yeah, that is like the normal, the usual layout of my tack locker. So I'm now gonna go into the bottom drawer and sort that out as well. I also forgot my whip, which slots in just over here. Okay, so how am I gonna do this where you can see me as well? We might just have to do this without being able to see my face. So. In here, I have his bandages that need re-rolling. I think I put those over. I think I put those back in a rush the other day. We have some empties. Mm. If I'm doing like a quick wash on his legs, I just use very liquid, but there's not really enough in there to put it back. So that can go for the bin. We've got some tack cleaner, some more different shampoos for his legs, some human shampoo and conditioner. They're pretty much empty, but there is enough in there for like another wash. So we'll keep those back. More tack cleaning bits and pieces. I've got coffee just in case the milk in the fridge is ever out of date or, there, if there, if there ever, or if there ever isn't any milk and I'm needing a coffee. I've just got those sachets. That was his old sweet itch formula, which doesn't have sweet itch. Right, that's for the bin. Mm, they're quite old now. I think they should go for the bin. That is definitely for the bin. There's not enough in there for another wash that can go for the bin. I've always got deodorant, especially for in the summer. That's staying. Pig. I've got some old pig oil spray, but it's just quite nice before a photo shoot just to make him look extra glossy. A sweat scraper. Some more riding gloves. These are from Hook Polo. They're definitely very cool and very out there. More shampoo. This is the mane and tail. This is one of my favorites actually to use on Ringo. The main rebuilder, this is definitely what's helped to grow his sweet itch patch. His ear bonnet in Rioja. A spare head collar, which is very jazzy. <laughs> I might actually give him that to go out in the field. Something a bit different. He could do with a new head collar, actually, that's true. And you can use that now. I've always got a lip balm. Some spare dishcloths. His stallion chain for when, or stallion chain slash kind of a bit of a stronger hold. So when we go competing or he's in the trailer or lorry, this is just a little bit extra to kind of keep him in. Just, it's just a precaution, he doesn't need it, but just being a stallion, you need to take extra precautions sometimes. My spurs, now I don't usually use these. I'm gonna pop those in there. <laughs> a hairbrush for me, myself and I, a sponge. Some old labels that can definitely now go in the bin. An old bag which had gloves in them that can go in the bin. My super old gloves, but I'm gonna keep them just because it's always handy to have spare gloves. Some more dish, 
dishcloths, but that obviously gets tack cleaned in a lot. As you can see by the colour, that is very grim and I think needs a wash. <laughs> Dry shampoo, especially for the summer when I'm getting very sweaty hair. Factor 50, especially for my arms again when I'm riding in the summer. Snacks. Now these are the fibre ones, so I've always got constant access to snacks if I'm ever hungry here. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is clean this out. I'm actually going to clean it with this, you know, with this dirty dishcloth actually because it needs a wash anyway. And get any flyaway bits of dust and dirt as well. Cleaning the sides of the drawers too. And so it is all spick and span, like so. <laughs> so I'm now going to start off by putting my tack cleaning stuff on one side. That's too big, I think, to sit upright, isn't it? So it needs to go like that. Ringo's products in the middle. Just all look so much tidier already. It's just a job that I've needed to be like needed to do for such a long time. I just haven't got around to it. That's the bin pile, isn't it? We put snacks back at the back again. You can go that way around this time. And put those on the top. I'll put those there. And then we'll put my deodorant, dry shampoo, and factor 50 in there. His ear bonnet can go at the front there. They need re-wrapping. That can go at the front there. Spare gloves can go at the front. I mean, to be honest, these could actually definitely do with a wash, but I'll wash them next time the wash loads on. I think I've just missed the washing machine today, so as long as they're tidy first, that's all that matters. in as well. Let me just see if I can tip you down here and then you might still be able to see me a bit better. This is where I find out that that angle is going to be better all along. <laughs> so, can you see that better? Oh, you can see me now as well. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> so, that's now on there. I'm actually going to put his ear bonnet on the top, like that. Spare gloves in that corner. I've got another spare glove up there. That's the second I've forgotten to put my lip balm in. And I think the rest of that is pretty much all good to go for the bin other than the new head collar. I think. I think that's about it. Oh, and that. Oh, and his brush. I forgot about his brush. So we'll put that back in his grooming kit a second. So, I'll show you guys what I've done. Okay, so. Our tack room is looking shiny and clean. As I say, usually all of his saddle pads are up here. We've got five, potentially six, because I'm not gonna be keeping, well, I say we've got six, but we keep five up here because one of them is his new white dressage saddle pad from Lemire. So we haven't got that up there because obviously we want to keep it nice and clean. Um, but that is what the bottom, well, not the bottom. So this is now what the top part of our tack locker looks like, nice and clean. And then this drawer, now, it looks like that. Also nice and tidy and clean. Pop that back in there. <laughs> Which now also looks tidy and clean. We've got tack cleaning bits all through there. A sweat scraper, bandages and ear mask. Not ear mask, um, <laughs> ear bonnet. Shampoos and things like that. And then my kind of area at the back. And our little area here is now perfect. And other than a new head collar, this is the pile for the bin. <laughs> OK, 
Okay guys, so it's now time to start tack cleaning. So I always use the NAF tack clean first. I just spray it all over and it just kind of gives it a really nice quick clean. And then I either go over with Neat's foot oil or a leather balm, but today I'm just using the oil. So I'm just gonna start by spritzing it. Now, I don't, I don't know whether this is the right thing to do, but this is just how I do it. <laughs> Takes no time and leaves my tack literally gleaming. Do the same on the, that bit of the girth. And just with a household dishcloth, I rub it all over. I just find tack cleaning to be a really tedious job, so the, easiest, the easier I can make it and the quicker I can make it, the better. And this tends to just do the job perfectly, just the way I want it. Using the same dishcloth, I'm just going to pour a little bit of neat's foot oil on here and go over everything and underneath and whatever. And you'll see the difference in the shine, it's insane. And this is really obviously good for the leather as well, it keeps it supple and fresh and it'll make it last longer. This is a really old saddle, so I have to oil it quite a lot. It um, had a few years off being ridden in because I didn't actually know it would fit Ringo and I used it on my old horse and I sold my old horse a few years ago um, and this was her saddle and so it was out in like the cold in the shed for ages and so it's all cracked underneath. However, the Neat's foot oil is helping it slightly, I must admit. I'm going to leave it more. Paying also special attention to the girth straps as well. The underneath here. That looks like it could actually do with restitching a little bit there. I think we need some saddle repairs to go on here. <laughs> I do the stirrup irons, they do look glossy. I can't remember if I did or not, I'll go over them again. Just to make sure. I'll do the underneath in a second, but I'll just do the top at the moment. So now the same for the other side. You guys wondering why I'm whispering, the yard's quite busy out there. And I get I feel a little bit intimidated vlogging in front of loads of people. <laughs>
Just tipping my saddle upside down and just doing the underneath of it. This is where it's the most cracked, so it's where I need to focus on putting the most oil, if that makes sense. And that is now my saddle and girth clean, and it's now just time for both my bridles. Okay guys, so I think just while I do the bridles, I'm just going to pop you on a time lapse because I'm just going to do the exact same thing I did with my saddle. I don't want you guys to get bored of like, well, not a time lapse. <laughs> You're probably thinking, just get on with it. So I'm just going to get on with it. So I'm now in the rub room and the this and this shelf and the shelf is Ringo's and to be honest it isn't too untidy but it could just do with a little bit more of an organisation. Um, any background noise the washing machine is on in the background. So oh, it's one of those things where I don't really know where to start. So his rugs there and his extra saddle pad from Shires are all quite neat and tidy and I think I'm going to put this rug on top of them actually. his summer to autumn New Zealand and then this could do with a fold up and I'm putting up there as well and that's all spare rugs and things like for next summer there's nothing that needs to be out and in use at the moment And that is the hood to go with that. This is an old rug bag, which I don't think we need, but I might just keep it because it's quite handy for storage sometimes. And then on here, we can empty all this out, actually. That bag can go home with me. So, we then have another rug what rug's that for that can go on the bottom actually we'll take ooh, all this out all right before i lose everything that's a snuggy sweet itch hood that we never needed because we lost the sweet itch the second he arrived here i arrived with it brand new with 100 pounds and then he decided to not ever watch again also all of his saddle pads are up here as well so i'll show you guys them in a second stay like that. That's actually quite neatly folded. It was until I messed it up. Whoops. I'll refold that then. I'm hoping my microphone's working after all this. Because otherwise you're not going to be able to hear me at all. Is it on? Yeah. another one of his New Zealands. Again more of like a summery autumn one. And the snuggy heads can fit 
on the top there. That is his Lickit box, which I kind of don't think he needs. Actually, I think it's probably easier to have those done up and put there. They could do with a wash, or have, maybe I've washed them. Have I washed them and they just have left sand on them, maybe, actually? I think these did get washed, actually. Perfect. And then up here, we have his clipper box an old salt lick that he destroyed. <laughs> um, and we have his quick knot, easy plaiting band, sticky things in there. Oh, something's wet on there. Strange, why is something wet? Oh, it's all wet, is there a leak? No, how bizarre. And then his girth cover as well can go up on the top there. So that section is now done. Up here is pretty tidy, we have his new rug on after. We have this new rug from Shires up here, which is a 300 gram. It's not quite cold enough for that yet, and it doesn't have his clip yet. His travel boots, his travel rug, his travel head collar, this which can go there as well now, actually, with that. And his new grooming kit from Shires up there too. So, that area I would now say is pretty tidy, and I'll show you guys his saddle pads. Hopefully, you can see about there. So. They're really, really wet, so usually they're a bit lighter. Obviously, they're darker because it, they're wet. So we have the Champagne saddle pad from Lumiere, the Rioja saddle pad from Lumiere, from Lumiere, not that I can speak today, the black saddle pad from Lumiere, and also his Joshua Jones one down here as well. Um, we've also got a new saddle pad in oak and in white that have been very kindly sent to us from Lumiere just recently, but I'm just waiting to do one more extra YouTube video with them at home first before they come to the yard and get Ringo as such. So there's our saddle pad collection. And then we've got more saddle pads because I never really got the under I never really understood the whole like craze on saddle pads until I joined the craze on saddle pads. The first saddle pad I had kind of had I was like, I don't need more colours, I'm only ever gonna use one saddle pad at a time. And then I was sent a second colour and ever since then I've just kind of been slightly addicted and it really does become an obsession. And you don't you don't realise it's an obsession until you get into the obsession if that makes sense so we've got a few at the moment we've got how many one two three four and five including our one from shires and then we've got two more at home and that's it at the moment so it's kind of seven <laughs> and that is pretty much it on my what's in my tech locker tap room organization tech cleaning rub room organization really long-winded titled video <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Click the like button if you did enjoy it. I'm clapping again all the time. And I hope to see you in my next video.